Back in 2004, Christopher Ward rocked the watch community with a direct-to-consumer model that allowed for luxury quality at a fraction of the price. Undercutting the old guard with a value enthusiasts couldn't ignore, the British-designed, Swiss-made firm quickly proved itself to be a real horological player. As Christopher Ward's catalog has evolved over the years, however, one piece has clearly distinguished itself as the brand figurehead, the C60 Trident Pro. Now in its third generation, the watch is widely considered to be the definitive option for budget-conscious dive watch fans. Given that we've had a lot of higher-priced pieces in for review, we decided to see whether the Trident is all that enthusiasts claim it to be. Value-forward brands can be pretty hit or miss, as some actually manage to punch above their weight, while others don't follow through on anything more than price. Nearly two decades in, Christopher Ward is firmly a part of the former, an established name known for its accessible yet exceptional products. All that is to say, we had some pretty high expectations for the Trident Pro heading into this review. At first glance, though, we knew we had something special. Looking at the watch, you'd never guess that it costs anywhere from a half to a third that of its competitors. On the contrary, Christopher Ward's finishing is priced far below what it could be. For starters, the 40mm case is nothing short of brilliant. It's beautifully machined top to bottom with distinctive bevels along the lugs and a generous mix of both mirror polished and brushed finishes. Accentuated by some flattened transitional edges, it's a design that does wonderful things with the light. It's no wonder that Christopher Ward calls its case style the light catcher. The dial is also a marked improvement over previous designs, both bolder and also cleaner than either the Mark I or Mark II Tridents. Modern and balanced, it's handsome enough for formal occasions, yet legible enough for practical use. As we alluded to before, the case is, without a doubt, the most eye-catching aspect of the Trident Pro. In fact, the more you observe it, the more you come to see all of its details. Top down, it looks fairly simple. Turn the watch over, however, and you'll appreciate just how refined a piece it is. Measuring some 40 millimeters across, 12.95 millimeters thick, and 47.46 millimeters lug to lug, it's certainly one of the more manageable modern dive watches we've tested. Though many watchmakers tend to conflate bigger with better, Christopher Ward has actually slimmed things down with the third iteration of the Trident. The middling size makes for a great compromise between the 38mm and 42mm models. And the watch wears all the better for it, especially because of its gorgeous sculpted lugs. Beyond giving the Trident a discerning complexity, they also make it super comfortable on the wrist. The cutaways are prominent, and the transitions between brushed and polished finishing create a depth seldom found on dive watches. Certainly not those in this price bracket. Around the rest of the case, you'll find plenty of other evidence of Christopher Ward's impressive attention to detail. Just take the bezel, for instance. Made with a scratch-resistant ceramic insert, it's fully loomed with a glossy finish. The markings are distinct enough that they distinguish the watch from its contemporaries, but they're not so minimalist that they compromise its utility. The actuation is also quite impressive, even when compared to more expensive watches. Built with 120 clicks, it's free of any play and it's aligned perfectly with the dial. The response is loud and snappy, with a sharp tick at each position. One of our favorite aspects of the watch, though, has to be the screw-down case back. Stamped with a prominent Trident logo and encircled by some Christopher Ward branding, it's a simple but handsome piece that really pulls the rest of the case together. What's more, it allows the Trident Pro to be fully water resistant to an impressive 600 meters below the surface. Overall, the dial is pretty understated, but it's nevertheless a sharp piece. Inky black in color, it comes with a set of brushed applied indices that are each accented by polished facets. Because of the contrast between the tone of the dial and the mirroring on the markers, we have no issues with legibility whatsoever even in bright sunlight. It's worth noting though, that some users have found the white dial variation to be a bit trickier to read, depending on the time of day, as the indices are a little subtle. Text-wise, the dial on the Trident Pro tends to be somewhat divisive. On the one hand, it's perfectly balanced as there are details all around the handset. At 12, you'll find the brand's Twin Flags logo ghosted in black. At three, there's a color match date window. At six, the Trident Pro sports its automatic status and depth rating in both meters and feet. Finally, at nine, you'll find the Christopher Ward logo printed in white. Admittedly, however, the placement and dial branding aren't for everyone, 
Because the Twin Flags logo is so subtle, the layout can look a little off when it fades into the dial. Moreover, some enthusiasts feel that the Christopher Ward logo would be better suited at 12 rather than at 9. In any case, your mileage may vary. We enjoy the dial design, but only you can determine if it fits with your particular preferences. Finally, let's talk hands. Where most divers on the market tend to stick with some sort of Mercedes-like shape, the Trident instead goes its own route. The hour hand is a sharp pointed triangle, while the minute hand is a straight pencil shape that tapers as it nears the middle of the dial. Of course, the second hand bears the watch's signature trident counterbalance, with a dot of loom at the end for legibility. Between the contrasting finishing and the bright superluminova, we were able to read time easily from pretty much any angle. On wrist, the Trident Pro all but disappears, and that's a good thing. It's a watch that accents your wrist rather than stealing the show. Part of this is due to the case. The sculpted lugs mean that it wears smaller than its 40 mm width, with less material resting against your arm. Don't get us wrong, it has plenty of presence, but it never felt like it was in the way. Of course, the bigger factor at play here is the strap. In the case of our test model, Christopher Ward provided its hybrid strap made using a combination of Cordura nylon and molded rubber. Sewn together using fabric for the body and rubber for the rails makes for a comfortable modern take on the traditional diver strap. Accordingly, we had no problems at all when dialing in the fit, even our testers with slimmer 6.5 inch wrists. If anything, the slightly smaller case was all the more popular because of its versatility. Overall, the strap was largely without issue, though we did have one nitpick. The double loop keeper feels a little bulky on smaller arms, and the pointed rubber posts can rub at times. Not deal breakers by any means, as you can always upgrade to one of the brand's various other strap options, including a three-link stainless steel bracelet with a quick adjust clasp. Powering the Trident Pro is a Swiss-made Salita SW200-1 movement. Though we'd like to see a more prestigious caliber, we can understand why Christopher Ward opted for something from a trusted manufacturer. For as much as it allows the brand to keep costs down, it's also a pretty respectable movement in its own right. Ticking away at a 4 Hz frequency, it's a labore grade status means that it's accurate to plus or minus 20 seconds per day. Assuming that you'd like something even more precise, Christopher Ward also offers a Trident Elite model that comes chronometer certified. The movement's performance is solid in other ways as well. Though we'd like to have a larger power reserve, the 38 hour runtime is plenty for daily wear. What's more, it comes with 26 individual jewels and a built-in anti-shock system in order to maintain accuracy. Crack open the screw-down case back and you'll discover that Christopher Ward has updated the movement with some unique design touches. Along with giving the rotor a sharp new finish, they've also engraved it with their twin flags pattern. We'd love to see such details presented behind a display back, but we can appreciate the decision to keep things authentic. Plus. That would add even more thickness to maintain that 600 meter water resistance. The Christopher Ward Trident Pro impressed us in more ways than one. Beyond being an incredible value proposition, it's also a watch that, true to its status, punches well above its weight. The light catcher case is stunning, modern and skillfully sculpted to show off the watch from any angle. The design is also superb, with a handsome black dial, an original numerical layout, and a hearty ceramic bezel. Sure. The movement could be better, but that's all the more reason to consider an upgrade like the Elite. Either way, you'd be hard pressed to find a watch that offers this much bang for your buck.